it's Monday and I have a renewed energy um, for med school this week because I have cereal. The last lecture just ended. I'm glad it uh, kind of ended kind of early so I was able to kind of come and talk to you guys. The first lecture we did was over sickle cell anemia and then the next lecture after that was also really cool. Um, it was over doing cardiovascular examinations. Just a lot of different clinical tests that you will do as a physician in real life. So it was really cool to be able to take the time to actually train to do things you're going to do later. So this week I'm probably gonna do a lot of tests on myself, listen for heart sounds in the different areas. Um, but it was super fun. I just wanted to let you guys know that I did enjoy that lecture a lot. And I will see you guys after class is over. This morning I'm starting off with some histology of red and white blood cells. So during my histology lecture, I came up with this idea to basically write the word rewind and then kind of select it, copy, and so whenever I have an issue with um, hearing what the lecturer is saying, and so this is during live lecture when you can't rewind, so whenever I have an issue with hearing what the lecturer is saying or I didn't quite get what she was talking about, I can just put rewind and move on. So that way, and I'll show you guys where I in real time actually did this. So in this slide, I put rewind um, on, let's see, on this slide, I put rewind. So that way, whenever I look back and I type in the word rewind, notability is nice enough to basically highlight everywhere that I put rewind. So on this one, I put rewind, this one, this one. And so it's just a nice way to easily find the slides that I weren't, wasn't able to kind of get everything out of. If you want to, there's also a way to um, bookmark the slides. I just find it easier, like you can bookmark and then just go to the, only the bookmark slides. Uh, I just find it easier to do rewind because I use the bookmark for another reason. <laughs> And now we've got some clinical molecular genetics. So right now it's lunchtime and I am going to actually try to watch a anime show called Cells at Work, which is apparently like, it's normal anime, but it's biology cell related. So each episode basically teaches you while kind of entertaining you at the same time. So I'm gonna watch a sandwich and try to get an episode in, um, which is gonna like reference the blood cell histology lecture I had this morning. We'll see how I like it. All right, so I am done with classes actually today, pretty early, about 2 p.m. because my group doesn't do gross anatomy today, it's for tomorrow. But for now, I'm just working on the pure anatomy slides that I have to present tomorrow. Um, I have right now just the scapula uh, as my part, but I have a few bony landmarks that I'm supposed to go over first. And then I will get right into the scapula, so. What I'm doing right now is taking the questions I missed from this recent past formative and turning them into Anki cards because I clearly missed the question for a reason and I don't want to miss that concept again. I'm currently watching a basically how-to on CV and palm uh, examinations and eating some leftover Chinese food. Alright, it is 7 a.m. Tuesday morning, and I still have a pimple in the middle of my forehead. Oh my God, uh, no, but we got lots to do today, as always. All 
right, so it's Wednesday morning and the Hurricanes are supposedly supposed to be coming to Houston. Uh, it's supposed to be raining by now, but it's, uh, it's not. So um, it might not be as bad as we thought the Hurricane would be, but they did cancel live classes, but we're still responsible for the material. So I'm just gonna be reviewing uh, the video lectures. Uh, for undisclosed reasons, I did get an EKG, which is why I'm not at home right now uh, this morning. Uh, but uh, I will try to analyze my own heart because we did have those classes to try to do the beginning basics of reading an EKG. So it would be pretty cool to actually read the conduction or electrical conduction of my own heart. So I thought I would give that a try. <laughs> We have a good amount of things going on today. So it's Wednesday and just got back from the clinic and I already watched this before leaving for the clinic. So what we have left is uh, pulmonary physiology 2, clinical molecular genetics 2, uh, non-Mendelian um, patterns of inheritance and anatomy lab. All right, let's get started. Right now I'm getting started with more pulmonary physiology where I'm going to be studying ventilation and perfusion. <sighs> Palm physiology just did oh, the work on me because um, I'm not a fan of physics and I'm not necessarily great at it either and uh, here I'll show you what the slides look like. I just hate numbers and palm physiology is just equations on top of equations and numbers on top of numbers and partial pressure this and partial pressure that oh my god look at that i just i don't know i don't i i'm not good at numbers and i don't expect to become a pro at <laughs> numbers and math overnight um but i am gonna work at it and try to get better all right so i'm doing some uh, practice questions that was provided by one of the professors. So for pulmonology and a normal person doubling the diffusion capacity of the lung, would it be expected to? Uh, so if you're doubling the diffusion capacity, um, you're basically allowing for more oxygen to go through the alveoli into the uh, capillaries. I think it's E. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not super amused by the 674, but uh, We'll get all the cards done. You can see me here making a white blood cell histology visual chart just so I can piece things better together. So I'm actually pretty excited because I think I've learned enough diseases and disorders to start a disease disorder binder. All right, it is about 3.30. Um, I've gotten about 530 Anki cards done and some quick sheets that I made for histology. I'm trying this thing where I'm doing Anki cards first and then lectures after, so I still have lectures to watch. The only reason I'm able to do this though is because the hurricane hit, but there's really no hurricane here in Houston, but they canceled live classes, so everything's videos. So I'm trying to see if I get more done by doing Anki first and then videos later. Um, so I have three lectures I'm going to watch today, and then after that I'm going to try to do some Anki. How many times can Medhead say Anki in one video? Cards for the lectures that I watched. But I did notice I was nodding off a little bit at the desk, so I'm probably going to have to get another cup of coffee. I'm so excited because the last lecture of today and the last pulmonology lecture of the week is only 21 slides long, and it has barely any numbers on it, like barely any formulas. I see, hold on, I'll show you guys real fast. I see some on the first slide, which kind of gave me a scare, but then you scroll down and a lot of it is like no numbers. I mean, there's a number there, that's that's sad, but most of it <laughs> is not as formula heavy. So I'm super happy about that and it's only 21 slides, which is unheard of in med school. All right, so I'm doing practice questions and uh, I read, you and some buddies catch up on the Game of Thrones finale in your living room. Excitement is too much for one and explosive flatulence ensues. What? 
<laughs> what? Hey guys, it's Friday morning. Actually, not as early as what I would have liked to wake up. New day, same sweatshirt. Uh, don't worry, it gets washed quite a bit. Um, I have some oatmeal for some sustenance, and soon I'm gonna have me some coffee because I have to get a lot done today. But the good thing is the work I'm doing today is very um, maintenance like it's not um, really learning anything new and if anything I'm gonna try to maybe get ahead. So we'll see how that works out. Just finished refilling the coffee uh, Keurig holder because I go through it a lot. Um, expect that to be empty by next week. <laughs> to start off the morning I'm gonna do some passive learning. Uh, just started off easy. I'm gonna be watching a video on how to do a pulmonary physical exam. Um, it's pretty cool because now we're getting into a lot of the hands-on examinations. So it's things that will show up on my OSCEs, uh, basically exams that will test our patient interactions and how well we do physical exams. And on step two, clinical skills, when I take that. All right, so I'm hunkering down with some pulmonary physiology again, and I'm gonna be making some quick sheets. All right guys, it has come to the end of the week and it's about 5.30 and I decided I was tired of studying. I'm supposed to be taking a half day off on Fridays and Saturdays anyway, but I at least got all my Anki cards done today and it was about, uh, let's see, it was about 648 cards. It's becoming more of a norm for me to do about 600. Like yesterday I did 665. And if you guys remember the second week of med school around then, I was complaining about having 300 cards and uh, that changed really fast. And now um, 300 sounds really good right now, but I don't think this is my ultimate speed. And I think I need to probably um, still tweak and still work better because the load is still a lot and I'm sure that my study method is not as optimal as it could possibly be. But if you guys like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the family, welcome. We're super glad to have you here. And until then, I will see all of you guys on the next MedHead.